Hey guys. Alrighty guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Toby. Today, this thing is going on focus. Today is not going to be much of a fishing video, but more of a tutorial on how to make dough for trout. So, my opinion, I think it's better than power bait. So it's kind of like an alternative to power bait and for any many other things. So first things first, things that you're going to need are actually right here. So things you're going to need are going to be salt, any type of salt, garlic powder, sugar cane, flour, some water, and a bowl. Depending on the size that you want to make, the amount that you want to make, you might want to get a bigger bowl. I'm only going to make a little bit, so that's fine for me. It's super easy. Alrighty, once you got all of your stuff and your little work area, what you want to do is you want to grab the amount that you think you want to make and just pour in the bowl. This is flour. It's pretty cheap, like two bucks or something. Now this depends how much you want to make. Pour it in there. I'm going to make about that much, it's probably like not even half of the bowl. I'm gonna put the flour aside. You don't have to really do it in any type of order. I just, you know, go with it. And then after that, you wanna grab your garlic powder. Dump about, I'll put it in my hand first. About that much, maybe a little more. Yeah, we'll go a little more. Yeah. And then you just pour it in your bowl. Oh, oh man, it smells good already. Whew, that garlic though. Got it in the bowl, and you want to grab your sugar. Again, it's however you want it, and I like it crazy. I add a whole bunch. Then you add some salt. Again, doesn't matter. It's up to you. I like it crazy. And then after that, you want to add your water. Okay, this is where it's actually, you really need to know how much you want to put in there usually what I do is I put about a I don't know I just put an amount first okay put a decent amount first and after that what you want to do is blend it I got color pencil here so I'm gonna blend it with the color pencil I my hands don't get too sticky I mix it in all together Nice and good. It gets a little messy, that's all right. Blend it all together, keep blending it. Blend it, blend it, blend it. You start seeing it turn into like a, like a little ball and like a little, little hard consistency on it. You could fill it if you want it. And just keep blending it. If it's still a little dry, you might want to add a little more water. And it depends on the consistency that you want. If you want like a really thick um, doughy texture, then you might want to add a lot more um, powder or flour, I mean. Just keep blending it. Like right now for me, that's way too um, mushy and wet. So I'm going to add more flour to it. And I'm gonna mix it up again. Just keep mixing. Oh, <laughs> see what I mean? You'll make a mess eventually. And it, keep mixing it, keep mixing it. If you want, you can go with hands on. It's probably easier if you go hands on and just grab it and, you know, mix it together. <laughs> I just hate the sticky texture of it. Put in some flour. Just keep blending it. The good thing about this dough that it lasts a long time. It works fantastic. Not only that, it's pretty cheap. With about five bucks, you can buy all these ingredients and make a bunch of it. And it's a lot cheaper than most um, trout baits. You know, all that kind of stuff. 
Like right now, it's a good consistency for me. That's how I like it. I like it for it to stick on the hook. But I'm gonna keep adding a little more flour. Just keep mixing it. Like again, it's up to you the consistency, but I recommend doing like a little, a little tougher. It will stick a little bit, but that's all right. Cause that's what you want. You want it to stick on the hook. A little more. And I used about, probably like about half a cup. I have a measuring cup right here. I used about half a cup. It just depends how much you're using and how much you want to make. But as far as that goes, right there, that's perfect for me. But yeah, that's at the end result. It's pretty nice and doughy texture. It's not too sticky, it's not too dry. Looks like a ball sack. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you need more help on how to make this dough, just leave a comment on this video and then I'll get back to you guys. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.